Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Today I want to share a message with you and I pray that the Lord will give you an encounter. An encounter that will make you forsake all and run after him. Praise Jesus. Jesus said, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily. Hallelujah. And follow me. Praise Jesus. Please, for those that have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe, share the video, share your comment. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. For those that have subscribed, I appreciate you so much. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. James chapter 4 verse 8 says, Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Praise Jesus. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. You see, you he's telling you to be ready and be willing to draw near to God. For God is ever willing to draw you closer to him. Now, it says, Cleanse your hands, ye sinners. Purify your heart, ye double-minded. You see, because sin will not, make, will not make you to be closer to the Lord. You see, God is not a friend of sinners. God cannot work with sinners. Because he is holy, and he wants you to be holy. He wants you to forsake all. You see, every known sin, to confess it and forsake it. Then you are ready. You are a potential friend of God. You see, and Isaiah 59 from verse 1 says, The hand of the Lord is not sure that he cannot save. Neither is he heavy that he cannot hear. But your iniquity have separated between you and your God. And your sin have hid his face from, his face from you that he will not hear. You see, your sin hide the face of the Lord from you that I cannot hear. Because he said the prayer of a sinner is an abomination to the Lord. So, God is calling you right now. Hallelujah. He's telling you to confess and forsake every known sin. Because it is your sin, your iniquity that has separated you, that has been a wall, an hindrance between you and the Lord. Praise Jesus. Now it says, purify your heart, ye double-minded. Why? Because God himself is not double-minded. And he cannot walk with a double-minded person. He's looking for somebody that when he says something, he will believe him and trust him and obey him. Praise Jesus. Can two walk together? I said they be agree. That is why I say, ask in faith, not wavering. For he that wavereth, you see, is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. And he said, let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. For a man, a double-minded person, is unstable in all his ways. God cannot walk with somebody that is unstable in all his ways. He's looking for somebody that will believe him and trust him. A man of integrity. A man that will believe him, that will take him for who he is. Praise Jesus. He said, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. And when you are closer to the Lord, when you are a friend of God, number one, you will have so much love for him. So much love for him. You will love him with all your heart, with all your strength, with all your understanding. You see, you will search the scripture daily to, to know him more. If you have not read his word of communicate with him in a day, you will not be okay. Because you will be longing for that fellowship day by day. Hallelujah. And one other thing that will happen to you is his fear. You will have his fear. You will have his fear. And when you have his fear, God will be able to trust you with his secret. He said the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. Hallelujah. You see, the process when the Lord is drawing you closer to him, you will go through a series of tests. Before the Lord will be able to trust you with his secret. And Job 23 verse 10 says, He knoweth the way that I take, and when he has tried me, I shall comfort as gold. Hallelujah. I shall comfort as gold. So when the Lord trusts you, the Lord, you have the fear of the Lord, you will have access to the secret of God. Praise Jesus. You will have access to the secret of God. And God is looking for, for friends, people he can work with. It, that will be his mouthpiece. You see, he said, cleanse your hands, ye sinners. You see, that is why David prayed, that sin shall not have dominion over me. 
And the scripture also say Romans chapter 6 verse 14. It said, sin shall not have dominion over us. For we are not under the law, but under the grace. Hallelujah. You see, the Lord is calling you. And when you are, when you are closer to the Lord, when you feel that, that when you have that, that friendship with the Lord, that you fear him, you know him, you still search him day by day. You see, you, you, it will be difficult for you to be offended. You will not be easily offended. He said, blessed are they that are not offended in my name. He said, be slow to anger. And Psalm 119 verse 165 says, greater peace are they that love their Lord, for nothing shall offend them. Hallelujah. You see, you yourself, you have so much peace and joy. Praise Jesus. When you have that relationship with the Lord, you see, you, you have fear of God. When you have fear of God, then you will not fear any other things. That, that was why Jesus was able to sleep even in the midst of storm. Because he had the fear of the Father. And as such, nothing will make him to be afraid anymore. Because when you have the fear of God, he said you will dwell safely. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Praise Jesus. The Lord is speaking to you right now. That is why 1 John chapter 5, verse 21 says, He said, little children, keep yourself from idols. Because idols is another thing, you see, that will be an hindrance between you and God. You see, for you that you may listen to me now, maybe your own idol could be unforgiveness. Of course, that will be, that is an idol already. And maybe you, you talk too much. He said, in the multitude of words, there wanted no sin. God cannot work with somebody that talk too much. When you, somebody that talk, you will reveal top secrets. He said, even a fool, when he keep quiet, is counted as wise. Hallelujah. Maybe your own idol is social media. That the moment you get on social media like this, you forget yourself that you can spend the whole day, hours. The time you're supposed to search the scriptures, to spend with the Lord, you see, to pray, you have wasted that, that time on social media. So that is why I said, separate, keep yourself from idol. Praise Jesus. You see, when you are closer to the Lord, you see, you will have this so much confidence. Hallelujah. This boldness, this confidence, you yourself will be able to roar like lion. Hallelujah. And you also be an intercessor because that is what friends, the friends of God, that is what they do. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Praise Jesus. We're going to go into prayer to pray that the Lord should take away anything that is, that is, that is blocking you from coming closer to the Lord. Every idol in your life, let the Lord take it away. You separate yourself from it. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Sing and confess these songs with me. With all your heart open to the Lord, for the Lord to touch you. Maseka tunda kasherebu. You see, Moses had an encounter with the Lord. He saw a bush burning, but was not consumed. You see, John and eh, Paul also. He was never with Jesus in person, but he, when Jesus already resurrected, he had an encounter with Jesus on his way to Damascus, and he was he never remained the same. That is an encounter that will make you forsake all and run after him. One thing that Paul asked God, he said, what will you have me do, Lord? You see, what will you have me do? Because he loved God, but he believed wrongly, and as such, he was acting wrongly. So, but the moment he had an encounter with the Lord, his life was never remained the same. The person that was persecuting the church was now be the one building, the building churches. Planting churches. Hallelujah. He said, in Philippians chapter 3, verse 13, he said, Brethren, I can't know myself to apprehend it, but one thing I do, letting go of things that were behind, reaching forth to things that were before, I press, hallelujah. He said, I press toward the mark for the price of, for the price of high calling of God. In Christ Jesus, he pressed forward. Because of what? He had an encounter that turned around turn around his life and a counter that we are now benefiting a lot from hallelujah i pray that today the lord will give you an encounter that will make you say not my will but your will lord that will make you forsake all and run after him that will make you deny yourself and carry your cross daily and follow him 
Praise Jesus. Sing and confess this song with me. Praise Jesus. I am thine, O Lord. I have heard thy voice, and it told thy love to me. But I long to rise in the arms of faith and be closer drawn to thee. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross where thou hast died. Draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord, to the precious bleeding side. Listen. Consecrate me now to thy service, Lord, by the power of grace divine. Let my soul look up with a steadfast hope, and my will be lost in that. Draw me nearer. Nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross where thou hast died. Draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord, to the precious bleeding side. Oh, that pure delight of a single heart that before thy throne I spend. When I need in prayer and with thee, my God, I commune as friend with friend. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross. Where thou hast died, draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to that precious bleeding side. Amen. Pray, Jesus, as you follow this prayer, and as your heart is open. May the Lord give you an encounter that will make you forsake all and run after him in the name of Jesus. Say this loud and clear. Say, oh Lord my God, give me an encounter that will make me forsake all and run after you in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord my God, give me the grace to be your good friend in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord my Father, draw me closer to you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Now it says, little children, keep yourself from idol. Say right now. Say in the name of Jesus. I separate myself from every idol that is hindering me from getting closer to the Lord. In the name of Jesus. I separate myself from every idol. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I repent from every known sin right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You see, this is not a joke. You have to examine yourself thoroughly, hallelujah, to examine yourself and cleanse your hands from every known sin. Praise Jesus. The scripture says, sin shall not have dominion over us, for we are not under the law, but under the grace. Say in the name of Jesus, sin shall not have dominion over my life, in the name of Jesus. Say, I am a friend of God, I am a friend of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say iniquities. I separate myself from you right now. And I run after my God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say oh Lord my God. Draw me closer to you. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name. You see right now. I want you to pray for an encounter. Encounter that will turn your life around. That will make you be hungry for the presence of the Lord at all times. Say oh Lord my father. Give me an encounter that will draw me closer to you. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, give me an encounter that will make me forsake all and never look back. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. I speak upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. May you have an encounter with the Lord. In the name of Jesus. An encounter that will turn your life around. 
in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Please share this video, this message. Let it bless many friends, colleagues, even families. Hallelujah. Maybe you are listening to me and you have not given your life to Christ. You see, Jesus is the only way to the Father. Is the only way to God. There's nothing like one world religion. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one come to the Father but by me. Hallelujah. You see, don't be deceived. Jesus is the only one that can give you peace that nothing can give you. Not even your money. Not even your parent. Nobody that loves you that can give you the peace that comes from the Lord. Hallelujah. The peace of the Lord does not mean you are not going through things. But it means it's in you. As is in you, you have perfect peace. It means you know him and you know who you are. You know whatever you might be going through now, they are temporary things. And they cannot be compared with the joy that shall be revealed. Hallelujah. He said, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered the, the heart of man. What God has prepared for them that love him. But God has revealed them to us by his spirit. For the spirit such as all things, ye deep things of God. Hallelujah. So if you want to confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior right now, please say this short prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for this grace. I confess myself as a sinner. And I confess you right now as my Lord and Savior. I believe you are the Son of God and God raised you from the dead. You live forevermore. Be my Lord and my Savior now and forevermore in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You see, Jesus said in John chapter 6, verse 44, he said, no man can come to me except my father draw him. My father which has sent me, draw him. He said, and I will raise him up at the last day. So, as you are in Christ, you see, a friend of God, he said, I will raise him up at the last day. Hallelujah. That is your resurrection. You see, life forever. Hallelujah. Where What we are having here, the life we have now here, is a temporary one. You see, we are going to where we belong. Hallelujah. As you have confessed Christ as your Lord and Savior right now, I am so glad. And may the Lord bless you. Please look for a Bible teaching church and a prayerful and Bible teaching church so that you yourself can learn more about God, ask questions. Even right now, you can share any question you have on the comment, comment section. And now, by the grace of God, I will be more than happy to respond. God bless you all. For those that have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe, share the video, and be blessed in the name of Jesus. For those that have subscribed, I appreciate you so much. May the Lord draw each of us closer to Him than ever before, so that we will be friend, good friend of God and have access to His secret. May the Lord bless you, and I will see you in my next video by His mercy that endure forever. Amen.